welcome to the youtube channel of red voice today we are starting a series of interviews on different burning issues faced by indian society and politics today we have with us one of the senior most communist leaders in our country comrade kn ramachandran who is the general secretary of cpml red star comrade gs you are gs CPML Red Star. The party has started a three-month campaign against the RSS propaganda of Manuvadi Hindu Twa politics. So, why did you start this campaign, and what is the relevance of this campaign? Comrade um, GS, please. Comrade. Um, yes. You can hear me. I yes, see, I can hear you. We are today. Our country is uh, ruled by BJP. Leader uh, under the leadership of Narendra Modi. So it is Narendra Modi government of BJP. Generally, we are in the parliamentary struggle. Generally, we focus on BJP and Modi. But actually, BJP is only a part of the RSS Parivar. RSS is the fountain head, which has got a uh, earlier hundred uh, uh, few dozens now more than hundred. Organizations in his Paiwa. And the BJP is the political front of RSS, earlier it was Janasang. So, unless and until we understand the RSS politics, we will not be able to understand the BJP politics. For example, today, though they are not openly saying, we can see they are want to replace the present constitution and the system to a Hindu Rashtra with the Manusmriti as the constitution. And they are putting in practice. For example, the latest example is, when the um, uh, education policy had to be changed, last three years debate was taking place. So, tens of thousands of uh, intellectuals, professors have given a lot of opinions. But rejecting all these opinions, the RSS script was totally accepted, fully accepted, and now the uh, uh, new, new, new national education policy is announced, 2028 is announced. And uh, we can see what happened in Ayutthaya, in the, uh, the Silanyas there also. Actually, the Prime Minister, like a Rajasthi of the old uh, Vedic period, Prime Minister is going and doing the Bhumi Puja, along with the RSS leader, Mohan Bhagavad. The question is very clear. So, unless and until RSS is attacked, if it is not attacked, we will not be able to weaken the, the whole structure we have in our country. Now, RSS has penetrated everywhere. It is RSS penetrating. The military, the Supreme Court, everywhere has penetrated. All constitutional institutions are actually overpowered by the RSS. And uh, using the upper caste domination in the, all these structures, they have penetrated well and now captured everything. And this, the whole state is under the control. Even if another party is holding a state, state government, uh, running a state government, for example, in Kerala, or another state, the police and the administration will be, uh, IAS will be under the control of the RSS. So in this way, a total monopoly of the uh, neo-fascist RSS is there everywhere. So unless and until we target the RSS and its theoretical base, Manuvadi Hindutva, we will not be able to fight fascism in India. That is why we have started the first phase of campaign from September 28 to December 25. It will be continued. 